Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. I know, I know, I know. It's been a while now since I last posted a video. I'm sorry guys, but I have some crazy projects going on in my life at the moment. And I'm really happy about that. And I didn't really have time to film videos for you guys. I'm sorry. I really missed, video I really missed filming videos. And yes, I hope that you guys didn't forget about me. I hope that you guys kind of missed me because I really did miss you guys. I really missed you, okay? So that's why I'm here today. So today I'm going to be doing a reading on Demi Lovato and her husband. I mean, her ex-husband, um, Max Eric. Eric. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I think I'm right. So there's some crazy drama going on between these two at the moment and you were a lot, I mean a lot, asking me to do a reading about them, okay? Um, so I personally love Demi Lovato. I feel like, like to me, it's one of the greatest singers of our time. Her voice is just amazing, okay? And when I first knew that um, she was like with this, with Max, I was like great for her, okay? Because Max is, is a Cancer, right? And Demi is a Leo. And I was like, he's gonna be able to bring her, you know, peace and happiness and kind of like, and I was like, he's gonna be able to calm her down because Demi is a really fiery person. She's a Leo, so she feels things at 100% when she's angry. She's really angry, angry. I was gonna say hungry, not. But when she's angry, she's really angry. When she's sad, she's really sad. So she feels emotions like at 100 person, you know? And I was like, damn, he's a cancer. He's gonna be able to calm her down, which was a great thing for her. And then when I knew that they got engaged, I was like, wait, things are going really fast, okay? And I was not convinced about their relationship. I didn't really feel love about them, like in their, about in their relationship. Um, obviously, I'm not... Like, I don't live with them. I don't know them personally. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's rain. It's currently raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain. But anyways, I like, I love rain. <laughs> this is not the subject. Anyway, so what was I saying? Damn, I forgot. Oh, yeah. And they didn't look really in love on the pictures. I just, like, felt some, like, physical attraction between them, but I didn't feel love. I don't know if you guys... Mm, Oh, okay. Six of Pentacles. This card talks about, um, you know, when you are here for something else than than love. Okay, this is like more a match material love. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but we're gonna dive into that. Okay, I don't know what you guys think about this whole situation, but we're gonna see what spirit want to tell us. Okay, let me just shuffle the cards real quick. I have already searched the cards so we can start. Oh my god, I miss doing that. This is crazy. Okay, so Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato and Max Eric. What happened between these two? What happened? Thank you, Spirit. Can you guys give us more information? What's going on between Demi Lovato and Max Eric? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, one card here. Okay, three and four. Let's see, you guys. Mmm. Okay, the sun card. Yes. Okay, so here we have the seven of pentacles. Um, I do feel like this is Demi Lovato, okay, at the moment. She is currently, like, following Max on the social medias. Because, you know, um, Max has been, like, posting so many things about, like, he's been saying all those like, last couple of days that he was, um that he had been used by Demi, that he, like, that this was manipulation, that he was not happy, like, that he was just used, okay? This is what he claimed. And I don't know what you guys think, but I personally don't really believe in that. Um, and I, I, I the, and, like, Demi hasn't been really, like, um, responding to him on the social medias. He was the only one claiming things. He was the only one complaining about this relationship. And Demi didn't even respond, okay? She was like, I think she just posted a tweet, but she didn't respond. And this is her, okay? This is her looking at Max and listening about all the things that are being said about them. And she's just like, you know, she's kind of like, she's kind of indifferent. How do you say that? She's indifferent. So this means that she is, like, this doesn't affect her. She's just like, damn, why, why did I date a guy like that? I was going to get engaged with him. 
I was gonna I was gonna get married with him, and now I see what his real face is like, what his real personality is like. I feel like this is what Demi thinks at the moment. Okay, she thought they two thought that everything was going great between them, that everything was. Damn, I can grab the card. Okay, they thought that I was everything was amazing. Like the sun card basically talked about happiness, being successful, and this is the best card that you can get from the deck. Okay, and I think that they really thought that this was gonna work, that they were gonna end together, but this is not the case. Okay, this was just like appearance. Um, then I don't, wait, let me think. Who was the one that broke up? I think this was Demi. Then Demi ran away, okay, from this relationship. Um, I do feel like that something has happened. Something happened between these two because she had to make a choice, okay? Queen of Swords basically talks about, you know, you have to make a choice now. You have to take a decision. You have to be decisive because if you want to be happy, you have to think, okay? And I feel like this was Demi Lovato, okay? She had to make a decision about something. But let's see what was this decision. Okay, you guys, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit. What's happened between just, I was gonna say Justin Bieber, no, between Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato, and Max Eric? Thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit. What happened between these two? Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, what just happened? Mm hmm. Let's see. Yes, the death card. Of course, you guys. Of course, this is the end. Okay, this is definitely the end of their relationship. Death card basically talks about ending. Okay, this ends. This is the ending of their love story. Then what's that card? Okay. Wow. Oh my god, this is insane. The devil card. Look at them. This was them. This was a toxic relationship. They were not happy. Wow. I do feel like that. Like, my personal opinion is that Max was not necessarily here for the love of Demi. He was not necessarily here for Demi Lovato. He was here maybe for something else. Maybe he wanted to be famous. Maybe he wanted, like, he wanted to get money from her, okay? But this was toxic in some way, okay? There was not true love between them. There was some kind of um, benefits, okay? There was a, like, he was here for benefits, okay? Wow, this was toxic. Dame. And then here we have the the Knight of Pentacles, which basically talks about, you know, you are feeling great on your own. You are lonely, you are single, but you are feeling great. And I know that Demi Lovato like posted, like released a song two days ago called I'll Still Have Me, something like that, which basically talks about her relationship with Mass, okay? She is alone, she is single, but she feels great alone, okay? What's the expression? You, like, it's better for you to be alone, to be single, than being with someone that is toxic for you, okay? We all agree on that. What's the last card? Yeah, oh my god. He was definitely here for something else than money, than love. I'm wondering if he was here for money. This was Demi Lovato giving him money. I think that he earned a lot of money from this relationship, okay? Wow, look at those four cards. This perfectly summarizes their relationship. This is the end of a toxic relationship. Now they are single, they are alone. And this is kind of also Max on the social medias. He's trying to make people believe that he, he's trying to to like he's trying to be to look like a victim. He want to be like he wants to be the victim in the story, but is he really the victim or was them the victim? Do you get what I'm saying? And this is people believing his stories. This is people on the social medias like just buying what he's saying okay but i don't know you guys i don't know what to think let me just wow this is insane you guys wow okay let me shuffle the cards again demi lovato demi lovato and max eric what are what do you guys want to tell us thank you spirit thank you spirit okay one card here i don't know if you guys see that but cards are flying today okay spirit are really ooh the the, the word card okay then, okay, one, and, ooh, King of Swords. Let's see, let's see, what are those cards? Mm. Wow, okay, so here we have the, the, the Nine of 
cups, which I think is Max at the moment. He satisfies. He's kind of like, you know, I don't want to make him like the the. I, I don't want to make him the devil in the story. Okay, not saying that he is like a bad person or something. Okay, I, I just remind you this video is for enter entertainment purposes only. Don't take it too seriously, but. This is my honest opinion. This is what Spirit are telling me at the moment. But I do feel like that Max is satisfied of this whole situation. I mean, because before Demi, he was kind of nothing. I mean, nobody nobody knew about him. Nobody knew that he was existing. Um, I didn't know him before Demi, okay? So I feel like that Max is the one that earned, that, that won, okay? He's the one that won the game. He's the one that kind of got... He kind of got everything he wanted. He got money, he got popularity, he's more famous now. And now people knows who he is, you know? So he's the one that earned the most uh, in this relationship. But I do feel like this was... So here we have the High Princess, which basically talks about, you know, intuition. Listening to your intuition, being intuitive, listening to your instinct. What your higher self is basically telling you, okay? And I do feel like this was Demi Lovato, okay? She was just like, you know, she kind of listened to her, her in intuition. At first, she didn't li she didn't listen to it. She had her this voice inside of her head telling her, girl, you gotta leave this man. This man isn't good for you. But she didn't want to listen to to this voice, okay, inside of her. This kind of makes me think about the song with Selena Gomez. I mean, Lose You To Love Me. Um... In the lyrics, she says, um, I saw the signs and I ignored it. And I do feel like this is the same thing for Demi Lovato. She kind of saw the signs, but she ignored it, okay? And, yeah. I thought the word card here talks about revelation. You know, being free. And, I like, she's not learning the truth. She is, um, yeah, she is discovering the truth. This is what I wanted to say. Wow, this is really interesting. But you guys, I want to talk about something too because, you know, he is a Cancer, as I told earlier, and she's a Leo. Um, and like astrologically, this couldn't work, okay? Um, because he, so Cancer is a water sign and Leo is a fire sign. Um, water signs match with earth sign, and fire signs match with air signs. Okay, so. I don't, like, so astrologically, this couldn't work, okay? This couldn't match, okay? If you are in a relationship, if, and if you are, like, I don't know, an earth sign, for example, and your partner is a water sign, this means that you guys are matching together. That you, you, you guys have this connection. You speak the same language, you know? Your souls are connecting, you know? You are blending, okay? But if you are a water sign and your partner is a fire sign, for example, um, this normally couldn't work. Not saying that you are in a bad relationship, that you are in a toxic relationship. Not saying that at all. But you are not blending and 100 persons okay and i do feel like this what this is what happened between max and demi they couldn't have like they couldn't like their souls didn't connect okay because he was a water sign and she was a a um a fire sign. And this is exactly the same situation with Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber. She is a Sagittarius, a fire sign, and he is a water sign. It's a water sign. So this can't work. But Selena Gomez was a water sign and Justin was a water sign. So this was what this is why they connected together. Because water and water match. Water and earth match. But water and fire doesn't match. You know, you get what I'm saying? So I think this is one. Mm, I think this was one of the reasons that they broke up. And here we have the moon card, which basically talks about secrets. There were a lot of things that are that were hidden uh, in this relationship. I do feel like that he was, that Max was hiding things from Demi. Um, yes, interesting. Okay, let me just um, ask a question. Okay, let's see. Max, Eric, and Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato. Ooh, the Empress card. Okay, let me just... Ooh, the Tower. Okay, four cards. Ooh, five cards. Okay, let's talk the. Let's talk about those five cards real quick. As I was saying, 
she, she, they really thought they, they were going to be happy together, that they were going to end together, that they were going to get married. They had projects together. They wanted to do things. They wanted, they, they thought about their future together. Okay. But then they started arguing a lot. Here we have the five of wands, which basically talks about fighting, argument, and things were not going as great as they were at the beginning of their relationship, okay? Things were not going doing great, okay? He will have the tower, which basically talks that something happened. Something happened. Something that you, ne that you weren't necessarily expecting happened, okay? And kind of destroyed everything. I do feel like that, that, that was a secret. I do feel like that Max was hiding something from Demi, okay? And this, and when Demi discover, discovered it... This was just like, you know, an explosion. Like things were destroyed, okay, between them. It's almost like this tower represented the trust that they had for each other. This represented the trust that Demi had in, um, in Max. And once she discovered this secret, like the tower just destroyed, okay? Wow, that's interesting. And here we have the Empress card. I don't... So this card basically talks about motherhood, a mother. So I, I think that her mother, I mean, Demi's mother were, was kind of like, um, giving like advice. Is that a word? Like she was just telling her to leave Max and she didn't listen to her mother. Okay. I do feel like that her mother didn't really like Max or maybe this is Demi Lovato. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. I just heard, okay, I just understood it. I do feel like that Demi Lovato wanted to be a mom and she wanted Max to be the dad of her child, okay? They wanted to have a child together. And Demi thought that he was the good man, the right man to have a child, okay? Oh, wow. But of course they, mm, this is why, okay. And I feel like that there's a lot, there, there's a lot of disappointment in this situation um demi was like really wanted to be a mom but this didn't work okay is there anything that spirit wants to tell me thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit max eric max eric max eric i, I hope i pronounce his name right max eric max eric okay the death card of course this is the end okay what's happening right now okay of course mm. Again, those are the exact same cards. Okay, I'm sorry, I just, yeah. Those are the exact same cards. This is the end, this is the third time I get this card. This is the end, okay? They ran away, they, mm, this is the end for them. And I, I wanted to talk about something too. I, I know I, I talk a lot in this video, but you know, again, Max is a Cancer. I'm a Cancer too, so I know what I'm talking about, okay? And Cancer signs are, usually really like sensitive people they are sensitive people they are emotional people they feel a lot of emotions they feel energies um like water signs are generally really intuitive really really energetic person they really feel energy they're empath okay and i do feel like but at the same time uh they so at the same time i, I think Oh my god, I can express myself this is insane. I think that what Max did was that he kind of used his emotion to manipulate Demi, okay? And this is what he's trying to do at the moment on the social medias. He's filming himself, he's doing lies where he kind of like, where he's tearing up, where he is trying to play the victim. He's kind of like crying and and stuff like that. Because he is using his emotions, his cancer abilities, if I can call that like this. He's trying to use his sensitive side, his emotions to manipulate people. And this is what he did with Demi, okay? He uh, he kind of manipulated her with his emotions, okay? And, you know, cancer signs are also known to be manipulative people, Um I'm a cancer too. Not gonna say that I'm a manipulative, but you know, I can definitely see why um why we are known like this, okay? Um because manipulation because I think that emotions are the strongest thing in the world, okay? Emotion are like everything. This is what makes us human. So of course, 
if you are using emotions, of course you're gonna like have a person in the heart. I don't know if this makes sense to you guys, but <clears throat> this isn't. I, I can express myself. This is insane. But I feel like this is why Demi liked him because he was not like every man. He was an emotional man. He was an sensitive man, and I think this was what Demi liked in him. Okay. But he kind of used it. He used his emotion to have her. He used his emotions to 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 get her. Okay, to 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 manipul mm, to manipulate her. Yes, but now yes, now they are both really sad. Anyways, you guys, this was a long reading. Okay, I usually don't do readings that last more than twenty minutes, but today was a special day. Okay, this was like. It had been a while since I did a video, so this is why this video lasts more time. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. This was a really strong um, reading. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Like, we gotta hit those 100 subscribers, okay? I mean, those 1,000 subscribers, okay? This is my ultimate goal. We gotta hit them, okay? And I know that you guys can make it happen, so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. That would make me so happy and that would be so helpful. If you have any suggestions of videos, tell me, please tell me in the comment section. And I see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time for a new video. Bye. Why am I singing?